hey, where'd you come from? That's a bone. Your body's got 206 of them, and your bones provide crucial support for all the daily activities that we do, like going to the grocery store, hanging out with our family, all these different things through our daily lives. But unfortunately, as individuals age, the chances of them developing a certain bone disease like osteoporosis increases heavily. This is why I made this video for you today to talk about a few of the treatment options and look at the real truth behind getting bone disease and keeping your bone health at a top priority. Let's jump in. So when it comes to treating osteoporosis and any type of bone disease, the best type of medicine, in my personal opinion, is preventative medicine. This is doing things that will help you to not develop the disease to begin with. In addition to this, there's actually a few things you can do in your daily life to decrease the risk of falls, because as we know, if you fall and have osteoporosis, the chances of permanent disability are incredibly high. But I do want to warn you, if you don't follow every single thing I tell you in this video, the chances of your osteoporosis and outcomes from that becoming much worse is going to be very, very high. So the first thing we need to address is some of the worst advice I've ever heard, and that's to not do anything at all. Although some doctors will recommend for you to not do anything as a chance to reduce falls, this is one of the worst things you can do for you as this decreases your bone mineral density and increases the chances that you will have osteoporosis when you get further down the road. And the next thing that simply doesn't get talked about enough is that bone disease like osteoporosis is silent but deadly. Because everything can be feeling fine, your body can be moving good, then all it takes is one simple fall for you to realize, oh my gosh, I just fractured every single bone in my lower body. Make sure to have consistent checkups on your bone health. Like in the video so far, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos on improving your overall bone health and keeping you fit, young, and healthy regardless of your current age and ability. Those first couple are really good, but I promise you, if you just do those first two and neglect doing the last few things, I'm going to tell you the chances of your osteoporosis and bone health outcomes becoming much worse is incredibly high. So the next thing you need to take into consideration when looking at your osteoporosis and your bone health is how the structure of your home is. So you're probably asking me, what in the world do my home and my bone health have in common? Well, if you have a home that has a lot of fall risk and fall hazards and you have osteoporosis and fall, you're probably going to break a bone. So getting rid of these hazards so you can have less falls and less bone breaks is crucial. That's a super important point, but I promise you, you might not have even known about this next one. Next important point when decreasing the chances of getting osteoporosis is actually resistance training frequently. So you may be scared to go to the gym and lift some weights as you think it's going to make your osteoporosis worse, but actually putting stress on the bones, specifically through resistance training, and this could be with free weights, this could be with machines at the gym, it could be even body weight training, puts a good amount of stress on the bones, which in turn, over time of course, will increase your bone mineral density and decrease the chances of getting osteoporosis. That one's excellent, and this last one, it's a simple fact that high impact physical activity is actually good for bone health. I will say if you do have any pre-existing pain in joints, doing high impact activity might aggravate it. If you don't though, doing walking, running, and any other high impact exercise is actually one of the best ways to build your bone strength. So that's it for the video. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure to check out our low impact exercise programs down in the description if you want a program for yourself. Otherwise, you can check out the next video from my channel that YouTube is going to recommend for you right now. I'm brushing away